Hello everyone and welcome back to Login Lock, the series where the only rule of the account is I can't log in. In the last episode over one year ago, we visited every world and unlocked the one and only OG music track for the account. Since then, Jagex has added the Jagex launcher, which is huge for the account, an entire new login screen to explore, so let's go ahead and do just that. Here is the new Jagex launcher. This is my first time using it as I just installed it a few seconds ago. So let's go ahead and see what we have available to us. So looking at the top left, it looks like we have old school RuneScape and RuneScape 3 here. Definitely will not be clicking this button, but we do have a whole new like screen here we can uh, interact with, I guess. Uh, going from the top left to the top right, we have a settings page, it looks like. So launcher settings, it looks like the only setting we really have is run Jagex launcher when the computer starts. Since I just installed that, definitely don't want to be doing that. Honestly, startup programs kind of suck. So yeah, let's get rid of that. We have a language setting as well. So I guess those are the only two settings, but we have Dutch, uh, French, and Portuguese. None of the languages I can speak, only English. So yeah, let's switch back to that. Unless I want to be a little cheeky and try to... Uh, learn a different language while playing RuneScape. That was not a terrible idea. Anyway, we also have an account setting, which I, it looks like I can just add accounts and log out of all accounts. I think that's kind of cool. I don't exactly know how this works, but I've seen a little bit. I believe since I've added my accounts, I can just like click play with the specific account and it'll instantly load the launcher and I just click to log in instead of having to use all my information. If that is how it works, I think that's awesome. I definitely will showcase that here in a bit, but I just wanted to uh, show that since I'm on the account page. And the fact that you can log out all of them, like in case you think you're getting hacked or something like that, I think that is like a good feature. And then we also have a support page. Uh, I don't know why they added this. This seems like a bug because I don't think support exists. Uh, Definitely, we're going to have to uh, use the feedback page uh, and tell them there's a bug with the uh, support. Anyway, now that we've gone there, we also have a shop and a website thing. If I click it, it's just going to take me to an external link, I imagine. Yeah, so you guys can't really see it, but it looks like the shop, you can only see Bond's uh, membership. It doesn't take you to like the actual merch store. If I were to like edit this, I think uh, taking you to the merch store when it says shop is a good idea. I think that'd be kind of cool. So, you know, if someone's watching, you know, maybe do that. That'd be cool. And this just takes you to the website. Does it take you straight to old school RuneScape? Yes, it does. And I imagine if I go to the RuneScape 3 page, it's going to take you to the RuneScape website. Okay, at least it does that. That's good. The fact that it differentiates between the two and like this doesn't just take you to the RuneScape website uh, and it takes you to the old school RuneScape one. That's a good setting. So awesome. Good job there. And then here we are. We have the official client and RuneLite. If I go to Rs3, they only have, uh, there's like only official client. They haven't really made a RuneLite for Rs3. Uh, honestly, I don't know why they haven't, like, it, I know a lot of those people play RS3, but, like, feels like that's something that would be beneficial for them, I don't know. Anyway, I definitely use Rune Light, so we'll just keep it on there, and then I have my, I have two of my many accounts added, the main two accounts I play, my 45 defense account and my main account, Max Nick, which it was previously Greatest Cat 2. Uh, manage accounts is just the accounts page from the settings, so I guess they have two settings there, one to specifically go to accounts, so I don't hate that. And then other than that, we also have news, it just shows you all the news here. A lot of cool stuff here, uh, this community showcase showed a lot of my, uh, good friends, uh, showcase recently, such as Telecon, Zazed, and, uh, Creepus. Very cool to see them, uh, shouted out. We have the, uh, new skill, that's uh, a very cool, uh, stuff, and then Jagex accounts, which maybe is something I'll look into next year. Uh, since this is the next step in the login locked, maybe Jagex account is there. Probably like go to the Jagex account page and not actually log in there. Maybe uh, there's something I could do there. We'll figure that out. Anyway, uh, since I can't actually log in, um, I'm hoping if I click play, it's not going to log me in. Uh, let's go ahead and figure that out. So I switched to display capture to kind of click on play just to show you what happens here. But in doing so, I noticed a bug that's very interesting and I can only show you in display capture in the first place. So let me go ahead and show it off. So right here, I have the Jagex launcher, as you can see it right here. And usually whenever I want to pull something up, like I want to uh, pull up my notepad, I just click on it. Uh, but with the Jagex launcher, when I click on it, it just crashes or it goes away. Like that's not supposed to happen. Like for example, let me open RuneLight real fast. So I have the RuneLight uh, browser, but if I just click here, it opens and closes, right? It doesn't actually remove it from the uh, toolbar or taskbar down here. But if we just go ahead and open the Jagex launcher again, and we have it up here, if I just click on it down here, it literally crashes or disappears like it's closing it. So uh, that is a bug and that's something that maybe I should use feedback for. Uh, yeah, that's uh, something I'll probably do not recording. With all that out of the way, I think I've interacted with pretty much everything I can here. Let's go ahead and head to the login screen, hopefully. Hopefully I'm not logging in or I've ruined my entire account. 
please just take me to the login screen and I'm curious if it's different if it is like the mobile where you can just click play that would be awesome so let's see yes it is so I can literally just click play now of course I can't click this because then I would ruin my entire uh, login locked account but it is very cool that they have it where you can just click and instantly log in and not have to re-enter your information just by having the Jagex launcher a very very nice update you know I, I like to give them credit where credit is due this is very cool I hope you guys enjoyed episode two of Login Locked. Hopefully next year I'll have access to the Jagex account and there will be something new to explore there. This is also the first video I've uploaded in over a month. So hopefully I can get back into the swing of things and start uploading more consistently. But with that being said, I hope everyone watching has a great day and hopefully I'll see you soon.